Hello, it's Dave here from PC Games N, and I've got some fresh new graphics card benchmarks to share with you. Yes, the 2080 and 2080 Ti are finally out today, the shackles are off, and we can actually talk about how they perform in games. Yes, finally, right? So we've got the two Founders Edition cards here from Nvidia. We've got the top spec RTX 2080 Ti with the mammoth 754mm squared TU102 GPU with 4,352 CUDA cores inside of it. As well as a host of ray tracing and AI focused silicon inside, there's also 11GB of brand new GDDR6 memory running at a blistering 14 gigabits per second. The RTX 2080 is running on a slightly smaller, though still rather chunky, 545mm squared TU104 GPU. That has 2,944 CUDA cores, slightly fewer RT and Tensor cores, and 8GB of GDDR6 memory, still running at the same 14 gigabits per second speed. And in terms of the competition, we're seeing how they fare against the top card of the last GeForce generation, the GTX 1080 Ti, the GTX 1080, and the finest that AMD can offer, the RX Vega 64. And because these new graphics cards are billed as the kings of 4K gaming, we're going to see how they perform in our 4K benchmark suite. The Assassin's Creed Origins test is a genuinely punishing 4K benchmark, and even at top settings the mighty RTX 2080 Ti is capable of topping the 60 frames per second mark. It's an unchallenged graphics card, more capable in gaming than any Titan card ever released. Which is lucky considering this ultra enthusiast GPU is retailing at Titan pricing. There is also clear ground between the RTX 2080 and the GTX 1080 here too, with the Turing card outpacing the Pascal GPU in terms of both average and minimum frame rates per second. And against the top AMD GPU, the second tier Turing is a massive 54% quicker than the Vega 64. Assassin's Creed may be a tester, but Deus Ex Mankind Divided is the real touchstone for next generation performance. Once we see a GPU capable of hitting 60 frames per second at 4K Ultra settings, we'll know we've seen something special. But the search goes on, with the RTX 2080 Ti the fastest we've ever seen, but only at a cinematic 23 frames per second. Pitting the RTX 2080 and GTX 1080 Ti up against each other, they are equivalently priced GPUs after all, there is practically nothing between them. That's a trend which follows through the rest of our tests too. And even though the Vega 64 has shown some decent aptitude for DirectX 12 performance, it's some 40% slower compared with the RTX 2080 in Deus Ex. The new Shadow of the Tomb Raider game is a tough one too. But still, the RTX 2080 Ti is almost able to notch up a 4K Ultra 60 frames per second. We haven't had the real-time ray tracing update drop yet, that's waiting for the Windows October update, so right now this is as good as Tomb Raider can look. With the RTX 2080 versus the GTX 1080 Ti battle again, the Turing GPU managed to just about squeeze out a win. It's mighty close, but with the advent of one-touch overclocking introduced for the GPU Boost 3.0 and 4.0 cards, it's easier than ever to switch gears. With the RTX 2080 versus GTX 1080, however, this is where the gap between them is the smallest. The Turing chip is only 20% faster here, but 70% more expensive than the Pascal card. Across the board, the ultra-enthusiast RTX 2080 Ti is the undisputed performance king at 4K, and beyond. There is nothing that any other GPU can offer that could give the top-end Turing graphics card any problems. In Far Cry 5 it hits 75 frames per second on average, in Total War Warhammer 2 it manages 67 frames per second, and in the Tessellation Heavy Heaven test it hits 64 frames per second. And the rest of the pack is a lot tighter. The performance delta between the RTX 2080, GTX 1080 Ti and GTX 1080 is incredibly close, and considering the price difference between them that's really tough. But there is still the chance for the RTX 2080 to pull ahead. The potential for the deep learning super sampling feature to offer higher fidelity post-processing with higher performance, all thanks to the AI silicon inside it, is exciting, as is the future of real-time ray tracing eventually coming to our games. But for now we have to measure this card on its traditional rendering performance alone.
So that's the 4K performance of the new Turing-based RTX 2080 Ti and RTX 2080, the two fastest consumer graphics cards on the planet right now. Thanks for watching, and if you liked what you've seen, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell for more PC gaming and hardware goodness from PC Games N. Cheers!